updates, how damaging would that be? Well, it would be very damaging for us, for the manufacturers, but also all the small and medium-sized enterprises that provide any kind of service to those companies. Um, of course, cars like Minis travel across the border, across the channel, for, twice during their manufacturing process, and many European cars are even manufactured in the United States, so effectively he would be taxing his own workers mm. and making their work less competitive as well. Um, so ba basically this measure would, would, would cost everyone, including his own country, which is what makes it so mystifying. And, and, and it risks a trade war. I mean, this is just a tweet, so we don't know that this is going to happen or come to pass, but it does risk a trade war. The European Union's all, already sort of hinted, I think it might impose tariffs on Harley Davidson's and you know, American goods coming into the EU. That is the danger, isn't it? it exactly. This is, this is how trade disputes get out of control. A threat to, to put measures on steel has produced threats of retaliation, cross-retaliation, and now retaliation again. And so at any point this, this starts, it's very hard to stop. Uh, especially when the measures he started with are global in effect and, and then you'll have responses against that globally. But this is the agenda that he was elected on, Donald Trump, isn't it? A protectionist agenda, if you like. America first, American jobs first, you know, even if it means putting up trade barriers. Uh, well, yes, this is his interpretation of America first anyway. Um, of course, the, the reality is there is no one place that everything is made and no one destination for it. And um, unfortunately, this administration's uh, not really absorbed this reality, that mm. their economy is as interdependent as everyone else's is. And um, the, the history of unilateral uh, trade action such as he's uh, suggesting to take is always an unhappy one. It has never ended well. And so the idea that it's going to end well this time uh, that's what Einstein's definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again and expecting a different, uh, a different result. Mm -hmm. And we're talking now before Britain leaves the European Union, but once we do leave after Brexit, of course, we have been talking about trying to do our own trade deal with the United States. Would this kind of protectionism still apply then? Do you think if there were, you know, those sort of negotiations, would America, would Donald Trump still be trying to put tariffs on British goods if that was the case? Um, my, my knowledge uh, of the way the which, in which the U.S. negotiates its trade relationships is very hard-headed, as are we, as is everyone else. We will not get a special pass unless it is interesting to the U.S. for economic reasons to give us one. Um, we cannot expect that we will be exempted from measures uh, if he perceives that it's in his interest to pursue them irrespective of the special relationship or, or the closeness between our countries. And that is just as true for a trade agreement as it is for measures like this. OK, well, uh, thank you very much indeed for your analysis. Nick Ashton Hart, they're an international trade advisor. Thanks for your time.